Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're going to make chicken lasagna and we're going to be making it in the brand new crock pot that I got today at Target. If you watch my coupon and videos, you know what I'm talking about, but I'll just share this little baby with you. Let's see. This is the new crock pot I got today. It is the Black & Decker and the finish on it, the outside of this, this is all actually a chalkboard finish so you can write on it whatever you have in the crock pot or if you need to remind somebody to take it out, say take it out at 4 o'clock. You know, if you're expecting help from the family with your crock potting, you know. But anyway, let's get to the recipe. The first thing you need to do is you're going to need a rotisserie chicken. I just picked one up at the deli right here. Um, I got the traditional flavor. I didn't get any lemon pepper or anything like that. I just got the traditional rotisserie chicken. And we're going to need to shred it up and put it in a bowl. So let's do that. Your chicken's all shredded up. It should look like this. Got it. Now you're going to take your two cups of Italian Italian five cheese blend cheese in a different bowl and 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. This is going to be really thick, but you're going to mix it up together in this bowl. Let me get a knife. They're so hard to open. It's hard to mix up because this ricotta cheese is pretty thick. Alright, that looks pretty good mix up. Look at it. Is it good? Alright. Alright, let me go get some more ingredients. All right, next you're going to need a third bowl, and you're going to need two can, two jars of this Rago, Rago, Ragu, 
Alfredo sauce. You can use any flavor you like. I like the roasted garlic parmesan, but they have, I think, eight or nine different flavors, and you can pick the one that you or your family likes. So pour both jars into your third bowl. minced garlic and about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I have some Italian seasoning that I bought from a local place where they make it homemade from Graziano in Des Moines, Iowa. But I thought everybody's going to have a Graziano in their area so you can just use the McCormick Italian seasoning if you don't have that one. Okay, so you need about a teaspoon of that too. Until it's all blended, until all your Alfredo sauce and water and everything's mixed together good. Right. Have a look at it. All right, it's time to start putting it together now. cup of this mixture onto the bottom. Okay. Then you're going to take your lasagna noodles. shredded chicken, some of your shredded chicken on top of there. Basically, each of these bowls are your different layers. Can you see in there good, by the way? Then you're going to put some cheese on there. Repeat this these layers three times. is cover it with mozzarella cheese. I guess this recipe just can't have enough cheese in it. Right. And then you're gonna cook it on low for two and a half to three hours. So that's it. Okay, here's a little update. It's been cooking for about two hours now. It is, whoa, sorry, Steam got the camera. Let's back off a minute. Look at that. That's looking yummy. I actually think this kind of looks done. So, we may test this out. All right, I have plated this up and I sprinkled a little parsley on it just to make it pretty. But I gotta say, this looks really yummy. Look at that chicken and the cheese. I'm gonna serve it with some breadsticks. All right, let me know what you guys think.